awesome people it's your girl kiana coming back to you guys with another youtube video and if you're new to this channel this channel is all about building a great relationship with our god together and so in this video we're going to talk about what you consume consumes you what you consume consumes you what are you listening to what are you watching what are you eating what are you doing to yourself what you put in is what you get out is basically what this is all about so let's see what god has to say about what we consume and what what should we consume what is acceptable we'll get into that let's get started it's proverbs chapter 20 verses 12 it says the hearing ear and the seeing eye the lord has made them both so god is saying that he's made them so if you're about with the price and if you're his child, what you're watching and what you're seeing is something that is important because he made it. The eye is a lamp of the body. So if, you're, if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. What are you guys watching? Now, if, for example, if you're watching something that you know that is not godly, why on earth would you allow yourself to see it? Because it is another form of temptation, you guys. Being truthful, being honest is another form of temptation. Is this something that is ungodly and you're constantly letting your eye gate see it? You're going to want to do it yourself, right? Think about it. Now, same as for what you're, what you're listening to. Is this music something that I should be doing right now? Is it going to make me fall into that temptation? Is it going to make me think about it? Because thinking about it, oh goodness, it is a sin. Thinking about it. Looking at someone in a wrong or inappropriate way is a sin so be careful of what you watch and be careful of what you're listening to matthew chapter 5 verse 28 but i say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart and same goes for women that scripture was pretty straightforward so the next scripture says ecclesiastics chapter 1 verse 8 all things are full of weariness a man cannot utter it the eye is not satisfied with seeing nor the ear filled with hearing it's just like you know like this i mean you, you listen to it and you hear it that ain't it's not gonna satisfy you you're gonna want to end up doing it okay so i guess that's what that scripture is saying anybody else have any commentary about that scripture hearing and watching not gonna fully satisfy you at all you gonna want some other satisfaction okay and first peter chapter 2 verses 11 says beloved i urge you as sojourners and exiles to abstain from the passions of the flesh which weighs war against your soul your flesh wages war against your soul temptation our flesh is weak it'll get us into some things that we just should not be in and so the Lord is warning us right there that it's important that you know that your flesh is weak. It's important that you know that you need to abstain from certain things to keep you from doing something that will ruin your relationship with God or can ruin your own life. Ruining your relationship with God is basically ruining your life. Let's just get that clear. <laughs> but that's what God is trying to tell you guys. He's put it in his word. He wants us to fully understand that what you consume is what you're going to get out. Is what you're going to um, end up doing. Or it's going to persuade you into doing something that is not just righteous. It's going to be unrighteous. Okay, another scripture says James chapter 1 verse 14 through 15. But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire the desire when it has conceived it versus sin and sin when it is fully grown brings forth death straight forward okay galatians chapter 5 verse 17 for the desires of the flesh are against the spirit and the desires of the spirit are against the flesh for these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things you want to do the spirit is against the flesh so if we ask out the help of the holy spirit on the inside of us he is going to give us a discernment or he's going to say hey this is not it this ain't what you want this ain't what you need it's going to be opposite like it says in his word for these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things that you want to do because what we want to do ain't it it ain't right it's not righteous our flesh is weak okay so the spirit is 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 persuading us is encouraging us to do the opposite of what the flesh wants because it's not it it ain't all right so the next scripture it says second corinthians chapter 10 verse 5 it says we destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of god and take every thought captive 
to obey Christ. We want to obey Christ. God is calling us to be mindful of what we're watching and what we're hearing, you guys. So if you like punch that girl in the face, I hit it in the back, I hit it any day. She ain't got no problem with me, I got no problem with her, but I'ma fight it anyway. Blah, blah, blah. What are you listening to that for? Do you want to fight? Oh. So no, no, that what you listen to is obviously maybe how it's how you feel, or maybe one day you some girl make you mad, and you or. For instance, if you just say, oh, I'm not a hitter anyway, don't nobody care, but you happen to get into some type of argument with another individual or this girl gets on your nerves, guys, and that song pops up in your head and you're thinking about, oh, I could just slap her, but I don't hit girls. But that's a thought, a thought because of that song that you had listened to, remember? Oh, and then, uh, then there goes, okay, for your eyes, if you happen to see somebody hitting someone, if you happen to see abuse Somebody seeing abuse could very well uh, make someone be an abuser in their future life. Somebody could be watching as a child. You could be watching something that is violent and it could very well make that child a violent, a violent person in their grown life. You know? And things, maybe your kids are listening to music that is inappropriate and has words that shouldn't be shared to anybody. It's obscene talk. Maybe they shouldn't be listening to that because one day you're in the public and then boom, your kid, your little five-year-old says something that you didn't teach them but they heard it and that's not to say that they never hear that word but we as grown people we can make our own decisions we can we can make playlists and we can choose what music we listen to we can put push the radio on and whatever comes to mind comes about we can make a choice it's important to know things it's important to inform yourself about certain words because if you didn't know about the words you wouldn't be able to refrain from it right so yes little kids are gonna hear it someday but they don't necessarily need to hear it right now of course if the kid hears it and you hear them say it, one thing that you can do is just to inform them don't say that word and tell them why don't be just like don't say that word because that probably could lead them to say it anyway because it's just bad i'm gonna do it because you know that's just my little two cents on that but anyways it's important you guys to watch what you're listening to and hear because it could affect you in so many different ways positively maybe if you listen to the right thing and then negatively most definitely it can go either way from you it's what you choose to consume and what you choose to consume will come out of you whether it's good or bad and we want the good you guys we want to be righteous we want to be pure in the eyes of the Lord and if you have to listen to, to something or hear something or you wish your toes are stepped on or something like that and you're just like well what the heck am I supposed to do ask God to help you with it ask God to forgive you for doing such and such because he's going to forgive you if you ask and you believe in your heart that you will be forgiven just like you said he will if you ask to be forgiven if you forgive others okay all right, you guys, that's all I have for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Please like the video if you like this video. And subscribe to this channel if you like to see more videos from me. Bye-bye now.